I, I'm, uh, I'm no engineer, really. It's, uh, it's just stuff I've picked up over the years with being interested. I have no, no engineering background or, or trade as such, but I've always been interested in making things. fascinated by steam engines but no real idea of how how the things really worked you know so so with matter it's just a matter of talking to people finding out things reading up about it uh, and so I've gone into this quite blind really just asking people for advice along the way The thing is with a, with, a steam, with a steam engine, first of all, you need part of it that makes a steam, which is the boiler. Uh, the steam comes from the boiler into the engine. So basically, it, comes, it goes into this cylinder, does the steam. Inside there's a piston, which is pushed and pulled by the steam, operating through parts. The piston moves the piston rod, turns the crankshaft around, and then it Go through the gearbox and clutch to the back wheel. Right, we'll throw a few sticks inside the inside the firebox. Bit of paraffin on a rag. Right, so that. Drop. That's in there. That's great a paraffin. Shut that now. Now we need to put the steam raising blower on. Which draws the fire through. This is something I made out of uh, a Morris Salzen heating fan. And then I need to open this which is up to the damper flap at the bottom and uh, just like a normal fire. So we'll leave those sticks to uh, burn away merrily and when they're going well, we'll put some coal on. Not really. It, uh, it, it had to be styled, uh, like I say, as, as, as an old bike, like it could have been made a hundred years ago. Uh, and I've, you know, hence the inverted brass clutch lever, the wooden grips, uh, the throttle lever up here, which operates the regulator to let the steam in. And uh, so, you know, I didn't want modern spoked wheels or anything that looked like they were cast, they had, they had to look as though it could have been, been back from, from that sort of period. So now we should be in a position where something should happen. We're above 75 psi and it's still, it's still rising. Uh, 
So let's see if we can cut some life out of it. No. There we go, it's all turning around. Fuel leaks, I'll sort that out in a minute. Might just want to tighten up that ground nut. 